who killed the most brothers? Brothers or the white man? Police kill more. That's, a, that's dropping the comments. Who killing the most uh, Hebrews? Hebrews or police? That's just a food for thought. So I'm gonna end. That's just game on that. That that see the, the, the Holy Ghost. That's game. TKO. Uh, so we finna go into this Cornelius deal now. Now, now, Cornelius being a Gentile. Let's see. Uh, I already showed y'all. Yerushalayim did an excellent video showing you that they got a precept their way up highway uh, down all the way down King's Highway. They precepting all the way down King's Highway to come up with you just proving that the northern and southern kingdom had a split. But what that mean to Christ? Because I'm finna show you right here. We'll, it's going to be game, but like this, 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 I mean, shit, how should I do it, y'all? Because this is game point. This scripture is game point. The understanding you got to see because we already been through Acts 10. So hold up. Should I, I think we should do it like, I think we should do it like this. I think we should go to Acts 10 first. I think we should go to Act 10 because this game won't get there. Now, now, this is my second add no mission. This is my second click, click. Like, this is, after this, I can reject the brother and his doctrine when he tripping, he teaching. So, this is the second time I've been on this. Now, listen. Now, now, I heard some Israelites break down. They break down of a devout man. They saying that there was no such Gentile ever in creation to be devout. They saying they, they precept and show you that devout means uh, Israelite, not no Gentile. Okay, let's say you're going to swing that bat. You're going to pick up that bat and you're going to run with that bat. Okay, so right here, I'm going to use that. And then remember, we say in the sheep's clothing is what? Acts 15, 38 through 40. Sheep's clothing is what? Keep that in mind. Okay, let me, I'm going to show you. All right, so Acts 10, verse 1. Now, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of this band called the Italian band, a devout man. That's your first, that's your first cut right there. That's your first cut. Like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta do it. Nah, 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 I'm trying to do it like so, bam, that's the first, all right, man. That's the first cut, then we're going to go back. Let's go who is read it, then I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give it to you then. So let's just read on down. We got to go down to the 40s, though, y'all. It's, it's a lot of, so I'm finna go. I'm going to stop here and there, but all right. We're going to just clear this ground just before, okay, because I'm going to read slower sometimes, and they mean too fast probably. So right here, verse 2, we're coming back to this verse 2. I'm going to put that in purple. A devout man, one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision, evidently, about the ninth hour of the day, an angel, so here goes some divine intervention. Remember, this is the same group of people, man, that teach that the Joseph is the daddy. It's Wolf of Sheep's Clothing. Sheep's Clothing is friends of the border of their garment. It's Israelites. Not all of them, but these are the false prophets that the most I'm talking about. These are the only people that's on the corners claiming to be prophets. Verse, verse, uh, okay. And, uh, he saw a vision evidently, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God came unto him and said unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto them, Thy prayers and thy arms that came up as a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is who? Peter. Hold up, this is another one. This is I put this putting somebody because I'm doing this like a detective. That verse in purple. All these purple verses, we gotta go back and cross examine. Because you know, it's gonna it's evidence, it's evidence in my case. So and now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon whose surname is Peter. He lodged with one Simon and Tanner. Whose house is by the seaside He shall tell thee what thou art to do 
Verse 7. And when the angel. Get that out the way. And when the angel which spake unto Cornelius departed, he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of them which waited on him continually. Because they were another devout soldier. And when he had declared all these things unto them, he said unto Joppa, on the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh to the city, Peter went up to the housetop to pray on the, about the sixth hour. Now, Cornelius already got a vision from the angel, and he told him to send me in the Joppa. And he took a departed. He took a devout soldier of them that waited, and they waited on him continually. And, uh, now, this is Peter on the next day. Peter went up to the housetop to pray on about the sixth hour. Verse 10, became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance and saw heaven open. A certain vessel descended upon him as it has been a great knit, a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth and the wild creeping things and the fowls of the earth. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter kill, and, Peter, kill and eat. And the voice of the Lord spake to him a second time, What God clears, thou call not common. Thou call. Hold up. And, the, and the voice spake to him again a second time. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I skipped the verse. You're right. It didn't even feel right. Because I missed what I, I missed the jab. And there came a voice unto him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, Not so, O Lord, for I have never ate anything common or unclean. Because he learned the commandments from Christ. Christ taught him the commandments. Remember, we stated back earlier that Christ is the testator of the new covenant. So his death launches us into the new covenant. His, his prophecy been fulfilled. His resurrection, his prophecy been fulfilled. So now, verse 15, the voice spake unto him the second time, what God had cleansed, that call thou not common. Thou call not thou, that call not thou common. That was done thrice, three times, bro. And the vessel received up again unto heaven. Now while Peter doubted himself what the vision what the vision which he had seen should mean, behold the men which were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry for Simon's house and stood before the gate. So they heard now. Now the, 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 the people that Cornelius sent. And while Peter brought the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold. Stood before the gate, verse 18, and called and asked whether Simon, which was surnamed Peter, lodged her. While Peter thought on the vision, the Spirit said unto him, Behold, the three men seek thee. Three men. Arose therefore, and get thee down, and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Hold up. The Spirit said, I have sent them. Why? Because of what happened, his arms and his prayers. And he got a vision from the angels. Then Peter went down with the men which he saw from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am whom you seek. What is the cause? Therefore ye have come. And they said to Cornelius, the centurion, a just man. And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a just man, and one that fear of God, and of the good report among all the nation of the Jews. Why would you say that? was warned from God by a holy angel to send for thee in this house and to hear words of thee. Because first of all, Peter, like, how y'all even know I'm hurt, bro? Why? Because the holy angel sent thee into the, sent us for thee into this house. Then he called the men, lodged, and, and on the morrow Peter went with them, and a certain brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Bro, come with me, bro. These people, these men, you know what I'm saying, sent for me. 
So I'm gonna go with them. But bro, come with me. On the morrow, they enter in Caesarea, and Cornelius waited for them and had called together his kinsmen and his near friends. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshiped him. But you a superhero or something? Like, why would you do that? But Peter took him saying, stand up. I myself am a man, of course. But why would you do that? Like, okay. And he asked him and he talked with him and went in and found many, hold up, and found many that were come together. Hold up now. This and this is key evidence. And he talked with them and went in and found many that were come together. And he said unto them, who is them? The many that will come together. Ye know that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company with or come in unto any one of another nation. But God has showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. Why are you saying that now when you seen many that were come together? Therefore, I came I unto you without gain, saying, as soon as I was sent for, I asked, therefore, what intent ye have sent for me? Like, okay, I'm here. Y'all know I ain't supposed to be chilling with all y'all. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on? This is it. This purple. Remember, everything purple, we going back over. We cross examine and going back over at purple. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting until this hour. Fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour, I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. The angel and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard, and thy arms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa and call there Simon. Call hither Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner by the seaside, who when he cometh shall speak unto thee. Immediately therefore I said to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Now therefore all we are here present before God to hear all the things that are commanded of thee of God. Because Peter, who is Peter at this moment? Is Peter the leader of the, of the pack or not? Who is Peter to, the, to Christ? What was his choice for Christ? That's another homework lesson you got. You got a lot of homework to do. Verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respect of persons. But in every nation, he that feared him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Now I can go to, if they doing my business, leave them alone. I can go to that. I can go a lot of places with that. Verse 36. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel preached peace by Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of all. That word I say ye ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and from beginning of Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, uh oh, and with the power, and he went about doing good and healing all that were obsessed with the devil. God was with him. And they're a witness of all things he did in the land of the Jews in Jerusalem, and whom they had slew and hanged on a tree. Him God raised up on the oh, he teaching him the gospel, man. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not at all people, but not to all the people, but unto witness chosen before God indeed, and even, even in me indeed, to us who did eat and drink with him. After he rose from the dead, and he teaches them the gospel, and he commanded us to preach unto the people, and to testify that is is that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. He tells them the gospel. To him, give all the prophets witness that though his name is whosoever believed in him shall receive remission for their sin. But Peter yet spake these words. Oh, uh oh. You don't want to hear this because it's going to make you jealous like, like like Paul said The Holy Ghost fell on them which heard the word And and, of the, and they of the circumcision Which believed were what? Astonished As many as came with Peter Because that of the Gentiles also Was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost For they heard them speaking with tongues Different languages Now I'm coming in the Honda Coming in the Honda Coming in the 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 And God 
and magnify God. And they answered Peter, they answered Peter, can a man forbid water that these should not be baptized but receive the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed them to be tarried them day. Okay. Because it's a custom like, man, if the ghost fall out, don't hit him with the water. He got the fire, hit him with the water. Swarm in. Jump him in. They down with the sick. But okay. So boom. Now all that. Now let's go. Let's go to where, where the bombshell drop is. Because this is like, once I see it, once again, like, you got to learn the gospel, my brothers. You got to study the gospel and understand the gospel. And once you understand the gospel, you'll be able to navigate through the new All oh, this stuff in red, man. It's stuff in red. Man, that's messed up, man. It's stuff written in blood. I mean, I don't need no precepts for this stuff. I mean, I don't need no precepts for none of this stuff, but we'll we, we, we make sure you get an understanding. Now, uh, yes, sir, Matthew 10 and 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manners of sickness and all manner of disease or dis-ease. Verse 2. Now, the name of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon who is surnamed Peter, this guy. This guy right here pops up in Acts 10 in purple, remember. And it say, who's first, Simon, who is Peter. And his brother Andrew, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, and the publican, James the son of Aphaeus, 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 and Labius, whose surname was Thaddeus, verse 4, Simon, the Canaanite, Judas Iscariot, who, who played him, who betrayed him. Verse 5, these 12, Jesus sent forth, and oh, here it come. This is how I know Quarnius is a Gentile. This scripture, and I see all y'all can't swing this, and this is the way y'all swing this, and it's the right understanding too. This is how I know Cornelius is a Gentile. From where, I don't know, but this, that's why I left it in the earth where it was from, because he's a Gentile. Here it go. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That right there, that right there is the is the game breaking understanding of Acts 10. Without this key time, without knowing this right here, without knowing that this right here, if you did not know this instruction, bro, you would not be able to understand that Cornelius is a Gentile. Uh, watch your dream. You still don't get it because I ain't broke it down to you. Now, look. Like I say, in red, we don't need no precepts. That's law. Straight, direct deposit. This is an instruction that he gave to the 12. Hold up. It's like verse 5. But we're in agreement. These are commandments to the... To the to These 12, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. And into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But do what? But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As ye go, because I ain't gonna I ain't gonna cut the mission out the, the instruction short yet. As ye go, preach saying, the kingdom of God is at hand. Remember, I told you, like they'll teach hate to reel you in. But no, this is how you teach. It's, he said the law of the prophets was to the John the Baptist. Until after the John the Baptist, the kingdom was preached. And all men pressed into it. Verse 7. And as you go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Preach the kingdom. Verse 8. Heal the sick. These are instructions. Clear the lepers. These are instructions. Raise the dead. These are instructions. Cast out devils. These are instructions. Free Freely ye have received and give, and freely you give. That's an instruction. Don't tax them. They're going to bless you, though. 
Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey, nor two coats, neither shoes nor stays, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And and enter whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, enter who is in inquire who is in inquire who in it is worthy. And there abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into the house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Verse 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or that city, shake off the dust off your feet. Verily I say unto you, it be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judging than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep into the midst of the wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But be brave men, for they will deliver you up to councils and you will be scorned in your synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them that are the Gentiles. And the Gentiles. When you deliver you up, okay, we can keep going with the instructions, bro. This first instruction, verse 5, what I want to these twelve, Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentile and into any city of Samaritan, but rather go to the lost sheep of Israel. That's the first commandment. That was the first instruction. Where to go. Where not to go and where to go and who to go to. And then what to tell them. Verse 7. And then what to do for them. He went into all of that. So now... You got an understanding of what we're talking about. We're going to go back to Acts 10. We're going back to Acts 10 with the proper breakdown. In purple, a devout man. So they say that to be devout, you would be an Israelite. Only it means a man that's, that's, that's in righteousness with the most high. A, a commandment keeper, a devout man. So, and what? Like you say, in Acts 10, because Moses gave it to 12 tribes. It wasn't just the Judah tribe. They got Moses' laws when we got Moses' laws. And if you're a devout man in the Israel, you got what on the border of your fringes? You got fringes on the border of your garments. So hold up. A devout man, one that feared God with all this house. If he was a devout man, when you seen him, you would have seen him in fringes. And remember, we was commanded already to go to the lost sheep of Israel. And if you say the lost sheep of Israel is the northern kingdom, then bam, you just got DDT. If he was a devout man and he knew the commandments because he was a devout man, and you're saying he's from the northern kingdom, he an Israelite, so he got just as many rights as you under this covenant, before the death and after the death. Now, you're going to say the northern southern kingdom split was in effect, but it was in effect until you seen Christ. It was in effect until you seen Christ. Or oh, you want to say the death of Christ? Well, it is a time in Acts 10, Christ already been risen and ascended. So we will be in the new covenant, but y'all still, y'all still devout. We weren't friends today. The commandment for the Israelites is friends forever. Oh, wait, I just went to Dollar General and my friends and the brother stopped me and we had church in the middle of Family Dollar based on them fringes. And he knew exactly what it was. And he knew exactly what time it was when he seen me. And we chopped it up. When I tested his spirit, he tested mine. You see? And we, we hooked up and we gonna fellowship based on that. Also, shout out to the brothers in uh, Wichita, Kansas, man. Hooked me up with all them fringes. Even the staff. We got me a staff. We got fringes on a couple shirts, some t-shirts with fringes on. Shout out to our brothers, man. Shout out to y'all brothers, man. Uh... So, uh, yeah, we back at it. So, if he was a devout man, he would have had on fringes. So, my question for you, if Christ commanded you, all 12, commandment instruction number one, if he told you not to go to these Gentiles and he told you to go to the lost sheep of Israel, that's is why you need an angel having Peter deal with y'all because these are real Gentiles. Whichever nation they from, because it left them to earn what, what, it left it, like Acts 10 left it in the earth what nation Parthenius was from. It told you Simon, Peter, 
It told you, you know what I'm saying? Where it sent to me in the job of call for Simon, whose surname Peter. You know what I'm saying? And then Christ, when he introduced Peter, he told you where he was from, where he met him, what he was doing. So it's like it's a mystery still what, what nation Cornelius is from, because it don't matter. It's about a man that most high cleansed. When you go back to like if you watch the I'll post the link. I'm gonna put the link in there for uh the Gentile. Cornelius is a Gentile. I'm gonna put that link in the description too. With the link of the master teacher lesson on this whole matter. Now that's what all the precepts said. Cause I'm just helping you with your homework. I'm just a service technician trying to get the efficiency out your unit. Cause you burning fuel, you wasting efficiency. So I mean, cause this all falls into one doctrine to where y'all hateful, y'all start teaching hateful. I can recruit people off of hate. But you ain't going to unify. It ain't going to cross the table when we be like, bro, y'all teaching blasphemy. Y'all teaching heresy, man. A devout man, one that feared God with all his house. That's why it's so remarkable for why what? Which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of God coming to him saying unto Cornelius. And he looked on him and he was afraid. What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, thy prayers and thy alms that came up for a memorial before God. This type of status, you name an Israelite in your city that's going to get this this type of uh, credential. Like, hey, this Gentile going hard. This Gentile going hard. Not only him that feared God, all his house, which gave much alms and prayer to the people. And later on, it's some in purple telling you that he got a good report out of all of the do you know Gentiles that got a good report? They got a church pantry that give food to y'all? A Gentile, not a brute. Ain't nothing new under the sun, man. I'm just saying. It was translated. The, the, the New Testament is in Greek. Is, Greek. is Greece a Hebrew nation? A devout man. If he was a devout Israelite, you would have seen him in fringes. You would have just been like, okay, y'all strangers, what y'all want? You know what I'm saying? What? What's up? If you see an Israelite, what's the first word you say to an Israelite? On God. That ain't the phrase. The phrase that you first thought in your mind, that's why I said, it's that on God. But I ain't going to put nothing on God. You know what I'm saying? Shalom. Shalom is the first word I say to any Israelite. Shalom is the first word I say to any Israelite I see your friends. Shalom. Ah. And when he say back, and the first thing I'm going to say is all praise to the most high. That's after we die and breaks. I promise you. I promise you. That ain't what happened when he seen him. When he seen him, he bowed. That's in purple too. When he seen Peter, he got down on his knees and bowed. Why? Because Peter was an Israelite and he know he a Gentile. It's like you an OG, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get blessed in the set. Y'all gonna jump me in, y'all gonna bless me, what up? Bow, he bowed. Like, nigga, I'm humble. I'm humble, brother. What's this about? What y'all want? You know what I'm saying? Hey, an angel came to me. Hold up. And when he looked on, he was afraid. He said, Lord, what it said? Our presence and our arms came up for a moral for heaven. And now send men to Joppa and call for Simon, the OG. Whose surname is Peter. He lodged with a tanner at the house that told him exactly where he was at. And when the angel spoke to Cornelius departed, he called two household servants and a devout soldier. But it said, Peter, it said his whole house was a devout servant. His whole house served a lot, so he got. That's why I'm telling you, it's Gentile establishments that this is a handful. And I'm gonna show you the where I'm gonna show you is Edom. I'm proving Edom ain't never been an Israelite. Esau ain't never been in the covenant with the Most High. The promise was to Abraham, see Isaac, Isaac, Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. I heard Esau once. So he Esau in the Bible, but I'm saying not in that. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. I ain't never listened to the covenant went that way. You know what I'm saying? That way. Verse seven. And angel spake to Cornelius, and he called two household servants and a devout soldier. 
So he telling you one of them band members, he took the band member to go with the servants just so they don't get slew on this mission. And when he had seen, because guess what? It would have been, if you say it's a devout soldier, meaning it's an Israelite, then that, that soldier right there would be an Israelite in fringes. It's a devout soldier, so it's a it's one of the hundred centurion. He's he's a, he's he's over a hundred soldiers. So that would be an Israelite right there. You saying so when Cornelius come down, he'd have seen an Israelite in fringes from the northern kingdom. Wait on him to tell when he had declared all these things. Tell him he said as soon as on the morning when and then Peter getting a vision. And we know that this vision ain't about eating no swine. As he said, not so, Lord, I have never eaten nothing uncommon or unclean. And I ain't spoken to him a second time. What God had cleansed, because the Gentile heathen is, is, is unclean. Thou call not common. This was done three times. And the vessel was seated up into heaven. Now, what Peter doubted himself with the vision had, had seen should mean, behold, the men which were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry of Simon's house and stood before the gate. So they there. They there looking for Peter, like, yo, and called and asked whether Simon, which was so named Peter, was lodged there. And while Peter thought of vision, the Spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. The three men, the two house servants and the, and the, and the devout soldier. Three men, so the ghost told, the Spirit told him, Three men seek thee. Arrive therefore, get thee down, and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Now to doubt nothing, if the ghost, like when Peter, I'm telling you, they like everybody's doing what these angels tell them to do. If they didn't do it, it was like, and he did not take heed of the angel, and he did as he pleased, then Peter, y'all, y'all know that Peter, Kava, you know what I'm saying, y'all know that K5, y'all know that, y'all know that he, uh, he be disobedient. Remember, he three times the crow and and, 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 and Peter ain't Peter ain't one hundred man. He is he faking the Peter ain't. While Peter thought in the vision, told him three men to arrive. Therefore, get thee down, go with them, doubt nothing. So hold on, doubt nothing. What that means? Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him and said, Behold, I am them seek them, and was the cause therefore I come. And Cornelius said. Then Peter went down with them unto Cornelius and said, Behold, I am whom you seek, what is the call that ye are come? And they and they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a just man, one that feared God, and all of the good report among all the nation of the Jews. Why would you say that? You saying that because it's a Gentile that's been putting in work. You saying that because it's a Gentile that's been putting in work with his whole house. Do you know how hard it is to get your whole house on on Christ? On arms, on doing good in it, on, on, on having arms. It say, yo, his arms and his prayers came up as a memorial before heaven. So not only do he got Hall of Fame status in heaven, he down her and he got a report of all them because it's what your report in heaven is what you've been doing on earth. It seemed like to me that it's a, the Hebrews thankful for Cornelius. A good report among all the nation of the Jews. That's all 12 tribes. Was warned from God by a holy angel to send for thee in his house and to hear the words of thee. Then he called them a lodge, but then on the morrow Peter went away with them and certain brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Look at that. Put this in a different color. The angel told you doubt nothing. That means, hey, don't even trip off of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't even trip. But why did somebody else go with them? Because that one saying, hey, don't take nobody with you. You know what I'm saying? Trust them. Nah, because if he was, if you, it seemed like doubt to me if you had somebody else mob with you. Peter went away with them and certain brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Could come with me on this mission. These people coming like, I got to go see what they come with me. But it said doubt nothing. It's telling you doubt nothing because they Gentiles. And you don't see no fringes. Because Gentiles never was, Gentiles was never commanded to wear fringes. And they don't. 
And on the morrow after they entered the Caesarea, Cornelius waited for them and had called together. Even the ancient, the, even even the even the natives, they call them Indians, but so-called the natives, quote unquote native, our, our Indian brothers and sisters, they have fringes on their garments while they fight. You know what I'm saying? They smoke tents and teepees and fringes on they on their, yeah, 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 fringes. If they got it, then how, how Peter ain't have it? I mean, how Cornelius never ain't know about it? I'm telling you, it's the Gentile, it's the Gentile, it's the Gentile. And Peter was come in, Cornelius met him and fell down on his feet. Why would you do that? And you a northern kingdom Israelite that's devout. If you devout, you know you better not bow to no Israelite. Not an angel, you bow to an Israelite. Because that's the order. Because the kingdom to come, this is what it's going to be. Peter's showing you, but that's some... He who has an ear, let him hear. If you don't hear, okay, okay. But don't 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 cause no turbulence because you you know what I'm saying? Cause you got that flight. Now hold up. Now Peter was come in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshiped him. But Peter took him up saying, Stand, I set him a man. And he asked him, and he went in and found many that were come together. So picture that you there, you Peter, you looking around, you seeing all these Gentiles, no friends. All these Gentiles, no friends. You looking around like, man, all these Gentiles on here, bro, what's going on? Because you saying if he got there and them all Israelites from the northern kingdom in fringes, you would have been like, man, what up, y'all? Hey, what's going on, man? Enoch Judah. Hey, what's going on? Hey, yo, hey, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. That's what you do when you see a whole room full of Israelites from any kingdom after Christ commanded you to go to the lost sheep. If this was work, this is like, mm, it's work. I got a whole house of uh, uh, northern kingdoms to teach. But Peter took him up. Let me say, but Peter took him up and said, I also am a man. And he talked with him and went in and found many that were come together, right? Like, this is how Gentiles, they, they, they it's going to be Gentile establishments teaching them Christ. This is what they got to do to be our servants in the kingdom. Abraham's servants had to be circumcised. Do your homework. Now, and he said unto them, you know how that is unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or coming to another nation. Now that's what they precept and show you the northern kingdom, southern kingdom split, and Ephraim was cut off and don't deal with her. But that pertains to everything before the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. But really, it goes to Acts 10. I mean, it goes to Matthew 10. Because Matthew 10, he told them to go to them lost sheep. That's a command. That's the first instruction if you was ever a soldier and you get briefed you got mission objectives you got mission instructions that you got to carry out or you finna get court martial if you do not one of them all y'all come back all these things must be done this is what y'all doing on the battlefield I'm giving y'all the tools I'm giving y'all the power and authority to do all these things go not to that way of the Gentiles or any land of the Samaritans but go to the lost sheep. So right here, this is when he would say something along those lines. But he talking, uh, now you know that it's an unlawful thing for a man that's a Hebrew to come in company with any of the other nations. But God has showed me that I should not call any man common or unclean. What? Therefore, come out to you without gang saying. Remember, that was one of his, uh, Commandments not to come with gold and not to charge them. It was given to you free. As soon as I went, if I was set forth, I asked, therefore, what intent ye have sent for me? And Cornelius said, hey, yeah, for sure. Four days ago, I was fasting until the ninth hour. I was fasting until this hour. And then the ninth hour, I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. And said, Cornelius, thy prayers heard, and I honor them, and remembrance in the sight of God. And sent therefore, to Joppa, and called hither Simon, whose surname is Peter. Oh, that's me. The angel told you, okay. And he is lodged in the house of one Simon. Okay, that's how y'all knew I was at. By the sea, and when he comes, says, speak unto thee. The meeting, therefore, I sent to thee, and thou hast done well, and thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all heard present before God to hear the thing that he commanded of thee? That's why I bow to you. Put me on. Put me on the set. They told me to call you and get here, and then whatever you say, do this is what we gonna do as Gentiles. 
all of us in here without no fringes. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, For truth, I perceive that God is no respect of persons. <laughs> Remember when he told us, Don't go to the Gentiles? Don't go to the Gentiles? I just got commanded to go here to the Gentiles. And he ain't taking away from that back then. He just added on, Hey, go put him on. He. Because he's going to start the remnant of Edom that I said I'm going to possess and of the heathens. They're going to be Gentiles. They have to They have to know Christ and be in righteousness just to be our servants in the kingdom for a millennial reign. So, but in every nation, he that feared him and work of righteousness is accepted with him. Game over. And Christ told you, hey, hey, they casting out demons. They ain't, ain't with us. Like, hey, if they doing my work, leave them alone. Don't worry about them. Because if you ain't for me, you against me. Hallelujah. All right. The word was God sent unto the children of Israel preached peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord. And like we said earlier, he started teaching them the gospel. Then the Holy Ghost fell on them. And then Peter, and then the circumcision which believed were astonished. As many as came with Peter, the brothers from that came with him, I could come with me. Them. Because that on the Gentiles was also poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. So they like, yo. But they heard him speak tongues and manifest God and answer Peter, can many forbid, can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. And then game over. All this makes sense when you figure out that Cornelius is a Gentile. All that purple, it, that's Christ commanded you to go to the Lord, to the lost sheep. The northern kingdom, Ephraim, that would have been a lost sheep nation. If you seen them around, bro, you was commanded to go to them before Acts 10. You was commanded to go to them before Acts 10. If you seen one of them here in Acts 10, ain't no need for you to get no vision to learn to deal with them. And it's like, bro, yeah, you can believe what you want to. Yes, indeed. The northern and southern kingdom had a split. And yeah, they was cut off, but we was too. We was divorced. That's what Christ is here for. Everybody is like, you either got faith or no faith. Because it's Gentiles with more faith than you Hebrew Israelite camps. You cults. And it's the devil's doctrine y'all running with. And you're like, well, when we get to Acts 10, because the ground basis on teaching hate is if Cornelius is not an Israelite, it's game for y'all Gentiles. That's what they teaching, and that's how they teaching, like ravening wolves and they territorial tripping off their corner and all that. So, yeah, man, that's that. So that's my second ammo on uh, Cornelius the Gentile. I read the whole chapter when it showed you the instruction. If I told you to do surgery on certain people, when you see them people, you do surgery on them. You don't wait for the hospital to give you clearance to do that. You don't wait for a surgeon general to come tell you three times to go ahead and do that surgery because you're already getting paid to do the surgery on these particular people. But on these people, you ain't supposed to be doing surgery. But now, you getting a surgeon general to come down and say, man, do surgery on them without no insurance. Yeah, go ahead and perform the surgery. I know, I know, this is what you told, I know, I know, yeah, this right here, right now. Why? Because I'm finna make them jealous in a minute because they don't want to accept the fact that you just told them the truth, that I'm the anointed Messiah and everything is game time. So that, it's your brother Enoch Judah Israel, man. I got some more stuff to do. I'm going to try to keep everything coming. Final Captivity out on all platforms. You got to get that. I'm going to feed it to you slowly. If you're a Hebrew Israelite and you got music, you got videos, you got stuff you want me to push, put on my page, hit me up. It's Israel Judah. I couldn't get the Israel Judah. So it's Israel like my chain is real. Israel Judah at Yahoo.com. And uh send me your music, MP3 or whatnot, and I'll get you in the game, send a picture, I'll get you in the game, a documentary, auto, bio, whatnot. Like I said, Honor Humility STL on YouTube, God's Warrior 298 on YouTube, and uh, we're going to keep you posted. Final Captivity, you can stream it for free on YouTube, but it's selling everywhere. Be a blessing. You know, uh, 
All praise to the Most High. I hope that edify, cause y'all, without the description, don't conflict with each other, but understandings do. On that note, Shalom. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. Israel, stand up, and this Judah.